Hello techies. In the previous tutorial, we have learned how to work with Microsoft Detect Long Wave Action. Now, in this tutorial, we will work on a small use case to convert the DEX into another language that is English with Google Translator using Web Recorder. All right. Let me show you an Excel over here with the data. If you see in our previous session, we have taken the text that is A column and after that we have identified the long ways by using detect long ways action and we have inserted the data which is detected by using detected long ways action in C column, right? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to convert this long ways which I have given in the column A under text column and then based on that text, I'm going to convert the text into English text by using Google Translator. Now, once I have done the translation, I'm going to integrate the changes in the Azure Detect Long Ways flow, which we have done it in the previous session. All right. Now, I have already created another flow. But you may ask, is there any action to, to translate the text from one long ways to another long way? Let's see that. I'm just searching for long ways over here under the actions panel. There you can see I'm having long ways translator in the IBM, but I have only identified long ways. Now, if you go for the cognitive actions once again, if you expand that there, you can see I'm having only translate inside the IBM cognitive actions. But under the Microsoft, we don't have any kind of translator to convert the data from one language to another language. Inside the Google also, I don't have any action to convert the text into another language. In that case, how can we go ahead and we can convert the text which I am going to provide as an input and then I need to convert the data into the English text and based on that, I need to convert the entire text which are there in the Excel, all right? Now, for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use Web Recorder. There, first of all, I'm opening the Google Chrome and then I'm going for the google.com. There, I'm going to search Google Translator. There, you can see, I'm going to provide some long text over here in the given long ways. And then, it is going to identify the long ways and then, what are the long ways you required over here, the default value is English so that I'm going to convert the text into the English long way. Based on that, I'm going to capture this text and then I'm going to paste or inserting the data in the column D in my Excel. All right. If you observe some of the rows over here, that is six and seven rows, I have not detected any long way as of now. I have just added few text over here to understand that. Along with that, we can convert the data or the text into the English language so that the data will be transferred, the data will be inserted in the column D over here. All right, along with that, I will show you some hiccups also over here whenever you are going to use Web Recorder for Google Translator. All right, first of all, let me start the web recording and there I'm going to start Chrome and then I'm going to click on Next. Now. I'm going to start the recording by clicking on record. Now I'm going for the enter text over here. There you can see I'm going to provide hello. I'm going to get this value which is there inside this span. So how can I go ahead? I'm going to right click on that and there I'm going to use extract element value and I'm going to take it as text value over here. Now what are the required values? I'm going to give the input for the Google Translate and after that I'm going to get output over here which is translated in English and after that I'm going to store this output in the inner text variable. All right, now let's click on finish. Now we got all the values or all the actions which are related to the Google Translator. Now I'm make a small change over here. I'm going to launch new Chrome over here. And there I'm going to make the window state as maximize. And then I'm going to click on save. Now to populate the text in the particular web page area in the text field, I'm going to use web form filling action that is populate text field on web page. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. 
I'm going to use text as text area and then I'm going to give some text over here and then I'm going to click on save. All right. Now, once again, we'll see the output by running this flow. Now, if you see, it has launched a new Google Translate web application and then you can see it has been given the same text which we have given and it has identified as the Arabic and then we have converted the text in the Arabic to English language. There you can see I'm having Google translation can dynamically translate text between thousands of language pairs. This is the output which we got it. Now the output we have stored inside the inner text. There you can see the flow variables I'm having inner text. Let's click on that. There you can see the same output which we got it from the Google Translator. All right. Now I will show you a small hiccup over here. If you see in my launch new Chrome, I have given the URL for the Google Translate, right? So we have selected www.google.com slash search and after that we are having Google Translate. Why can't we use the direct URL like translate.google.com. Let me show you that. There you can see as of now, I have used this Google Translate over here. I have given the text over here and after that the translation text we are getting in the English over here. Now below that you can see I'm having translate.google.co.in to translate our given text to another language by using this URL. Now, this is the same URL that what we have translate.google.co.in where it is we are going to provide the input and then based on that we are going to convert the text into English language. Why can't we use this interface over here to convert the text from one language to another language? I will show you the reason over here. Now I'm going to use web recorder once again and there I'm going to select Chrome and then I'm going to click on next. And then I'm going to start recording. Whenever you have started the recording and you are going to mouse over on, on this detect language area, there you can see it is not able to identify the UI elements. You can see clearly I'm not getting any kind of populated text areas or spans. I can't get it in the translate.google.co.in. How can we say that? Now I'm already having another tab over here, right? And now if you see over here, it is able to identify the UI elements in this Google Translate. But whereas if you go for the translator that is translate.google.co.in, it is unable to identify the area where we are going to provide the text over here. Over here you can see any area in this web page that is translate.google.co.in code.in it is not able to identify the ui elements over here in this google translate by using web record this is the hiccup that's the reason we are not going to use this translate.google.co.in url all right until now we have converted the text from one language to another language by using another flow right now what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this entire actions of what are the auto generated actions using the web recorder. I'm going to integrate the same changes in our previous detect language act, detect language flow. Let me paste over here. Now I have integrated all the changes which are related to the Google Translate over here in the particular flow that is Azure detect language. As the first thing that we have seen, we are going to launch new Chrome. That is before going to loop that I'm going to launch new Chrome. All right. Now inside the for each, what I'm going to do, I'm having populate text field where I mean, where I need to pass the value from the current item, current item having the values in a such a way that whatever the language or the text we need to convert, that text will be populated into the populate text field on web page by using current item of zero. And then it is going to the next link that is text area and it is going to be converting into the another language that is English. And then it will store inside the variable that is inner text flow variable. From there, I need to write the data into the Excel inside English text column, right? For that, I'm having D 
column as D and the row value I'm going to initialize. Like in such a way, the row value will be coming as one, two, three, and so on. Once it has been done, I'm going to save the Excel and then I'm going to close the Excel once the entire process has been completed to convert from one language to English by using this flow. All right, before that, let me save the flow. All right, now let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. As a first step, it is trying to launch an Excel and it is going to read the data from the Excel by using read from Excel worksheet action. And then as a fourth step, it is trying to launch a new Chrome window. And there you can see it has been maximized. And after that, it is trying to enter the data in the detect long way. This is the input text and this is the output text, which we are going to get it in English long way. There you can see first one is English. We have given in our input text. The second one is the Spanish, where the converted long way is English so that we'll get for the four rows, we'll get Power Automate is the best RPA tool in the market. The third one is Arabic. We got it again translated by using Google Translator. And fourth one is Swedish, where again the same text over here as an input we have given and the output also we got it as in the same Power Automate is the best RPA tool. Now, if you see the fifth row, we have given it as Arabic. It has been detected as Arabic. And the English, you can see cloud translation can dynamically translate, right? And also the sixth row is Italian so that it has been converted into the English language. Once it has been done, it has been closed the web browser by using closed web browser action. All right. Now, let me show you the output after translating the language. There you can see in my A column that I'm having the text which I need to convert from one language to another language after identifying the language with detect language. And after that, if you see in the D column, there I had the converted text in English. There you can see the first row is the Power Automate is the best RPA tool in the market. And the second one I, I have given in Spanish and it has been converted into the English. These four rows I have converted into the English with the same text. These are all four are same in different languages. One is English, Spanish, Arabic, and Swedish. There you can see and the sixth and seventh rows are different. I have given different text to make you understand. One is Arabic, another one is Italian, which has been converted into the English text. All right. Now if you see both are the same from Arabic language to English, it has been converted there you can see the output as cloud transformation can dynamically translate text between thousands of language pairs. This is the same one which I have been identified by using Google Translator. And we have stored the output in the D column under English test column. All right. I hope you understand how to detect a language by using detect language action. And also we have seen how to convert the text from one language to another language by using Google Translator by using Web Recorder as part of this tutorial. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye bye. Have a wonderful day.